Today, you guys, we're stocking our massive saltwater pond with the ultimate sea creature box. Now, me and Jack do not know anything that's in this box because Brooke bought all of that the- That right there. Uh, yeah, Brooke bought all of the, the contents inside this package here. So we have no idea. We're gonna be surprised, and I love surprises. Smells like a good video to me. But first, we have a giant mackerel head right here that we caught when we did that epic shark video. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it now. We caught a giant bull shark on the boat. Seriously, it was an epic video. But this is the remnants of one of our baits. <laughs> and we're gonna feed uh, one of our groupers. You ready, Pots? You think you can handle that? That's a big meal. I don't think he's gonna be able to eat this, dude. Oh! I dropped it. I dropped it, it slipped out of my hands. The mackerel slipped out of my hands, guys. Literally, it was so slippery because we just defrosted it and I was holding it by the point of the nose and it slipped right out of my fingers, right into Potts' mouth and he absolutely smoked it. That's probably the biggest thing he's ever eaten. Usually Pans is the one that eats the giant fish. The other day he ate the other half of the mackerel and this huge poor fish we caught. He ate both of those in the same sitting. Absolute beast of fish here, but we still have more that we gotta feed. Now that I ruined the mackerel eat, let's feed the rest of these guys some tilapia because that Jack will probably eat whatever's in this box. Unless we give him some stinky spaghetti. Stinky sous vide tilapia here. Look at this Jack. Okay, this is a wild caught fish. That's what you have to remember here. And uh, he's a savage. Hey, buddy. Ooh, look at him. Gotta get him a little fired up, make him feel like he's chasing. Here we go. Atta boy. Nice piece of spaghetti for the big boy. Look at that thing. Sucked it down. Now the eel's right here. Come here. Buddy, right here, right here, right here. Give him more. Oh my God, he's toast. Eat it. You better eat that thing. You better swallow it, otherwise you will be swallowed. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. To the rocks. Take it into your hole, dude. He's got it down. That's a big, hearty meal for that dude. Jack, come here, buddy. Good dog. It's like a dog, literal dog. This is a wild Jack and he's literally trained. So trained. Trained instantly. There's the green Mori. There you go, buddy. Get it, you better grab it. Good. They eat so aggressively, dude. So aggressive and they just wiggle that thing all the way back into the rocks and just sit there and swallow the thing. Now, as you guys can see, Pots over there, he is absolutely smoking a cereal mackerel cigar right now. That thing's sticking right out of his mouth, but he's slowly getting it down. Once that stomach digests the end of that sear mackerel, he'll be able to swallow it. But he literally looks like he's puffing on a cigar right now. That's epic. There you go, Green Warrior. There's one more piece. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Good boy. That yeah. Green Warrior is literally going to get so big, like eight feet long. It's going to be epic. But all right, guys, all the fish are fed. I'm super excited to see what's inside this box. So let's get to it. Take care of live, live fish. Best as beetles. Wow, 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 right, wow, so wow, wow, wow. Brooke says that she ordered all really large, but who knows? Okay. Very damn. It's a big warmer big bag. There's so many bags in here. So many bags inside bags. How are we fitting a big fish or big invertebrate in a small <laughs> bag like that? Are we gonna have a are we gonna have a major tons of invertebrates stocking 2.0 here? Yeah, we might. All little rocks when we ordered 300. This better not be, dude. This is a big bag right here. I'm hoping that's a big starfish. Yeah. Bag number one, guys. Here, here we, we go. go. Here, we go. Here, this we go. Small here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a starfish, okay, star. but I've never seen that one before. I've never seen this star before. Let's get him out. Chris, please don't kill me, bro. Ooh. You know Are you sure he's not venomous? My that thing stuck. is sick. Wow, that dude. Thing Look is at so that. Weird. All green starfish right there. Oh my god, I can feel him moving. I can feel him moving around a little bit. Look at all those little legs. We've never seen this starfish before. No, I've never ever ever seen one like this. Damn. Let me all see green this. and extremely pointy. That's nice. Never before have we ever bought this starfish. Damn, he is weird. He feels like you can feel him like he's suction cupping to my to my hand already. It's a cool starfish. That's a really cool starfish. Look at that guy. Look at those tentacles. Good size. That is a good starfish. Brooke, is this on the smaller end? It better be. It okay, better be. I hope so. Because this is one small little guy. All right, I think we're gonna get this guy on the sand, right? Let's try to get him as far as we can on the sand. First starfish of the day. That is one really cool one. Jack, get out of here. Get out of here, Ethan. Whatever we named you. There he goes. Whee! That's sick. Nice looking star right there. And that is the first one of the day. Stirring it up Gary's way, if you know what I mean. Brooke, how do we feel about that starfish? I would give it a 6.5. 6.5? So a 65, not So it's a D. Bag number two. Let's jump right into the box and get bag number two out. Brooke, what are we thinking here? That one. This one? It's so small. All right, get it out of the way. I don't want to see it. Get Guys, it out. This what is that? One, it's a fake bag? This one's deflated, dude. Oh my god, this is a debtor. This is a debtor. Oh my God. Whoa. 
No! no! <gasps> is it alive? It's a huge conk. It's a giant conk. It's a huge conk, but it's dead. No, Not it's a conk. Is it conk? You think it's dead? dead? It's dead. It's dead. Knife. Why Knife. You, this what? is this emergency. He's dead, dude. There's no water in the bag. I see the. That was a hundred dollars. You're kidding. Well, there's no water in the bag. Zero. You, you think maybe he's zero water in the bag? Purposely no water in the bag? Uh, I think he lives in the ocean. <laughs> I know, but maybe he can crawl out. Okay, maybe that's Open how they it. ship him. Open it! Dude, this thing's huge! He, does he smell? No. I think he might be alive. No. He's dead? I think he's dead. No! No, he's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! Holy shit! That was so cool! Look at that! It's like the size of my whole entire hand! Holy cow, dude! That, that is, is such sick. a cool... See, that's an invertebrate right that's there. That's an invert. That is a nice one. We only do it big on this channel. Look at that pointy top That's there. a conk, that is bro. Look, he's cool coming back out. Looking shell He's there. coming back out. Look. Does he have a shell on his foot? That's like his protecting. When he goes inside, when something's trying to eat him, if he leaves this, it'll be like they can't get him. Because That's if his meat's sick. exposed, he'll get destroyed. That is a cool shell right oh, there. Oh, he's cracked, though. Is he? I don't know if that'll be okay. Damn. Look at him. He's opening. Okay. Ah! It's interesting. Did you see him going like that? Yeah. He's got shrinkage. Must be cold. All right, let's get this beauty. I mean, take a look at the size of that conch shell. You find a conch shell like this on the beach, you're stoked. Here we go. He's coming out. He is coming out. He's, He's stoked. Coming out? He's, He's stoked, stoked to be in stoked. water. He's got water. He hasn't been in water in freaking forever. Oh, he oh, got scared. He He's farted. He just blew some air out. Let's put him down and see if he can flip himself over. Three, two, one. Uh. Oh, I guess that's always how they land. Perfect, perfect. Let's see. He's, He's farting a lot, dude. <laughs> it's probably full of air because yeah. literally. It was in he was air. in air. He wasn't even in water whatsoever. Know, was that meant to happen? I don't know. Was it supposed to come in air? I feel like it was supposed. If it was supposed to be like damp, they would put a paper towel or something. I don't know, but hopefully he'll come out here soon. Now the reason I was gonna do the smaller bags, but that one I saw had no water, so that that's, that's why that was an emergency on Fish emergency. Yeah. Two big bags right here, and then two smaller bags right here. So we're gonna definitely do the smaller bags first, then this, and then this big boy. Someone tell me this is nice. Someone tell me that this Something is telling me this is extremely spiny. Maybe venomous. Maybe venomous. And this one, I just wanted to get it out of the way. Oh, there's two. There's two. There's two. Okay, okay. Let's go, 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 go for this one. Let's go for this one right here. Okay, go. Okay, I'm not looking yet. Oh, it's an urchin. Urchin. It's a cool looking one. They do really well in this pond too. All the urchins are thriving in this pond, especially those sea stars. Look at this. This is one I have not seen ever, bro. Holy crap. By first glance, you know what this Whoa, thing reminds me of? Whoa, he's got green of? little things, dude. This thing literally reminds me of Finding Nemo when you swim down in the deep, the shark zone, you know those wrecking balls that sit there in the middle oh, of the yeah. water column? Yep, yep, that yep. looks like that. What the heck? He's got some different colors. He's got purple, green, little gray. Little pink in there, little orange down there. That is one. That is so cool. Sick urchin, bro. What kind of urchin is this, bro? Pencil urchin. Pencil urchin. What a fantastic! Like, look at this thing. How did that evolve? That is an animal right there. That's alive. Doesn't that look like it. That is cool right there. It's like a rock. Now, as you guys can see, we're about to put this guy down. But look at that starfish. He started on the sand and he is cruising. He's already on a rock. That's epic. This guy hasn't flipped over yet. But let's get our awesome new urchin in. Literally has. Four green spikes. It's so random, but so cool. Let's get him in. I'm gonna drop him right next to that conch. Whee! Let's go! That thing is sick! Now, we already have a ton of urchins in here. They all go into the rocks. I see the other conch we got the other day. He's in one of the rocks. The chocolate chip starfish. We have a big chocolate chip starfish in here who's cruising, who's doing fantastic. All the hermit crabs, there's actually one out right there cruising. So every time we add a ton of invertebrates, it just makes this more and more like an epic reef. And this guy is one really cool addition. Next smaller bag Talk right to me, here. Talk I'm not me. looking. I'm not looking. I see Talk that. To me. I see that's orange. Talk right, to me. What's up, fellow up. neighbor? <laughs> here we go. This is bag number what? Four? Watch out, Jack. I got a knife in hand. Shut my eyes. What is that? It's looking like an urchin. Looking like a conch. I mean a conch. Wow. Interesting. Another conch. Whoa! Ooh. Big hermit crab, actually. Look at that. That's a giant hermit Dude, crab. Dude, that's something you find on Naples Beach. That's a giant hermit crab. I used to find these. Actually, I used to own these. And you'd put peanut butter on a freaking sponge and they'd love it. Wait. Yes. This is the biggest hermit crab that crack. we've ever bought. Biggest hermit crab. Let's get like 12 inches. What? But do they need a bigger shell? Probably. Okay, so we gotta go to the store and start loading the shells in Hold here. Hold this guy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Wow, look at that. Two big claws on this dude right there. Look at that. Is he alive? Absolutely giant. Dude. You good? You know, let's see, we'll put him in the water and let's see if he comes out. Let's see if he'll come out. Ready? I don't want to get pinched. Guys, he might be DOA, dead on arrival. You think he's DOA? He I has think, not moved. He has not moved. He's a little cold. No I think there's a possibility he's DOA. Oh, wait, let's get that water out of there. Maybe that'll help. That air, I mean. 
Right. Guys, I think he's DOA. Nothing. All right, buddy. Talk to me. He rolled over. This is his best chance at survival. Buddy, I, I tried we, CPR. I think we flip him. There he is right there in the water. He might be DOA, guys. I think he is, I think he is a DOA, dead on arrival. That sucks. That's, an, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate because that was a really, really cool hermit crab. Give him a chance. We thought the other guy was DOA, but he came back to life. Let's give him a chance. All right, guys, that guy, possibility he's DOA, dead on arrival, but you know what? I think I have high hopes. I might have seen a smidge of a bit of a movement of an Doubt antenna. It, that hurts. Could have been current, but I checked his pulse. I gave him CPR. Nothing. Let's get into our second to last Not bag. Looking good. Oh, get, we're down to the, that one. We're down to the big bags. This guy has a blackout screen here, so it could be venomous, I'm poisonous, peeking. I'm peeking. dangerous. Can't see. Brooks trying to attempt it, you know. Is there any we need to be careful about? Mm. Any venomous species? If I die to a fish, I'll be pissed. Here we go, guys. Actually, I won't be pissed. I'll be dead. Here we go. Just small incisions. Careful, Chris. Uh, the water looks black. We're gonna dump this out. Okay, dump. No, it's just sandy, maybe? Oh, it looks pretty shitty in the water. Is that a sea cucumber? What is that? That is the weirdest thing. What is that, bro? Brooke, what is that? I don't know. It looks like it's dead, though. It's dead. It's falling apart. It doesn't smell. Okay. It's a possibility, then. Is it a rock? What is that, it bro? It literally looks like a rock. A lava rock. Is it alive still? Check the pulse. Yes! We have, we have, we have pulse. We, we have, have a, a pulse. pulse. Look at the inside of that thing. Wow, why did it come in? And this like, is the weirdest weird thing. thing ever, Brooke. Yeah, there's a pulse. There's a small pulse on the bottom. He's got a small pulse. Yeah, he's alive. We're gonna see if he can crawl across the pond here. I see movement. Yep, I see multiple little tentacles here, whatever they, you wow. wanna call them, with movement on them. He looks like he would be very hairy and soft. A little bit more rough like sandpaper. Here, Jack, I think he pooped on me. I, I think we have movement of the hermit. I think there's movement oh of the hermit. God. His claws are really starting to come out. I think he is alive. This thing is heavy. This thing is like absurdly heavy. All right, let's go. Let's get this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, major movement. He's yeah, alive. He's I like confirm alive. Armor crab is alive. It's, it's confirmed. confirmed. All right, let's, let's get, get this. this. What even is it, bro? Sand dollar? Oh, dude, it's like a pillow. It's a biscuit urchin. Biscuit urchin. That literally looks like a biscuit. I gotta take a bite out of it. Super interesting. Oh, let's see if he's gonna cruise around. That is one of the weirdest. It's a burnt biscuit. That is a very cool biscuit. That is so cool. Biscuit urchin right there, ladies and gentlemen. Biscuit urchin. Look at the freaking hair coming oh off him on the back. As you guys can see, if you look super close, there's a little bit of hairs coming off the sides of him. And I think he's gonna start cruising, but if there's anybody who's cruising and really enjoying himself, it's the very first starfish that we put in today. And he's pretty much at the dead center of the pond. But yeah. we have one more bag, the holy grail, at least I think, because it's the biggest bag. Let's see what's inside, baby. Here we go. Let's get into our next invertebrate. But first, we are doing a giveaway of three items off the Fish Guy Shop site. It could be a hat, it could be a performance tee, it could be a cotton tee, any of the tees, any of the products on there. We're giving away three of them to one lucky person. All you have to do to enter is go to joinfishguy.com. We're gonna put the link in the description and in the comment. Click that link, put your email in. That's all you have to do. You're entered into the giveaway. We'll have a list of everyone's emails and we can pick a winner right from there so you know someone's gonna get that giveaway. So hurry up while it lasts. Go to joinfishguy.com, enter into the giveaway, and you're gonna get some free Fish Guy apparel, Fish Guy hats, whatever you guys want. Now let's get back into the next invertebrate here. Jack, here comes the big bag here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Chris. This is a big tomato looking bag. Oh, is it a bag inside Jack, of a bag? don't look yet, okay? Bro, watch what out. What is this? It's huge. Is it huge? It's another, Chris, you almost just cut your finger, dude. No, I didn't. It's a huge urchin. Wait, Brooke, Jack. It's a huge urchin, Chris. It's mega. Oh my God. Oh my God. Huge. It's a huge conch. Oh my God, he's stuck. <laughs> oh my God. That thing is huge. That is so cool. That is super cool right there, dude. Different type of shell. Is it alive? Oh my God. It's what alive. That? It looks like a tongue. That is so weird, bro. How is I that? don't know, but this thing's disturbing. How is that a creature? Feel that? It literally looks like an asshole. <laughs> mm. This is can, this is I one of the most it. disturbing sea creatures I've ever seen. I can seen. say what it looks like, but I'm not. Yeah, gonna just keep it to yourself. Knock on it, because I do Ew. not want anybody looking it up. That is one of the weirdest creatures ever. I can't believe they have this foot here like that. That's a shell. That blows yeah. my mind. I've never, I, I never, you know, did a deep dive into giant conch shells. But that is very, very Super cool. Super slimy, dude. Really damn slimy. Really cool shell though on him. Look at that. Different shell compared to the first, Look at the first other one. one. Oh, the other one's on the move. The other one's on the move. He is, he's cruising. Let's he's get got, his friend in there. He's Look got at that. Little pink tongue out. Look at his tongue. Look at this. Look, 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 look
Oh my god, everything's coming out. Look at this huge tongue right here, though. Guys, this is... That is eye! That's his eye! I think that's his eye. Oh, big boy! This guy seems like he's very active. I think he should have no problem flipping himself over here in the next 20 to 30 seconds. But that is two massive invertebrates that we added to the pond that are on the move right now. Those are actually the biggest invertebrates that are inside of here that we've ever got for the pond. The hermit crab is really starting to cruise around. He's fully out of his shell. Brooke, you did a really good job. Knuckles, that was a good box, bro. That was a great box. You killed it. Brooke needs to be ordering all the boxes that we do from now on. If you guys want to see us do this again with Brooke behind, you know, the computer, the ordering, let us know by dropping a like on this video because we got some seriously cool stuff. Look at him. Oh my God, he's flipping He's over. totally out of his shell. Like he's totally about to flip over and go. Look, there's his two eyes. You see his two eyes on the tip? Very yeah, high yeah, up. Yeah, I see those. He's gonna flip himself over and he's gonna go for a run. We got some sick invertebrates today, guys. I'm pumped. We got a that thing is so weird, dude. It's a literal tongue. Look at the crap. That thing is huge. Look how much meat is coming out. It's erecting. <laughs> Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I would say that those invertebrates that we added to the pond are Epic. exceptional. I mean, they're beautiful. Top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Big tongue. A lot of cool stuff. Chest bump. <clears throat> if you haven't done so already, go to joinfishguide.com. Put your email in there. Don't forget about away, the baby. giveaway. Three items of whatever you want on Fish Guy's shop is going to go to one lucky winner. We love you guys so much. Catch you all in that next one. Peace. Deuces. Guys.